All right, we have a pretty catastrophic failure here. This eye bolt has broken off. So, unfortunately, I have to replace that entire track frame and I got an estimate for this. $8,400 is the quote. There ain't no way that's happening. We're left with one option and that's to fix it myself. What's the worst that could happen? Ah, dang it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I want to thank Friday Parts for this care package. I've been a long time customer of Friday Parts, so I was happy when they reached out to me and offered me some help on my project. And they're not just helping me, they're also helping you by this discount code down below. I'll put it in the description. Friday Parts has all of your equipment parts for all your major brands, anything from air filters to full engine overhaul kits. Go check them out. Great prices, quick shipping. Thank you, Friday Parts. It's the no good, very bad day for the cat. This thing is yard art. This is supposed to be down here. And this frame is not supposed to be up there. Look at that rear axle just broke completely out. And you can see that these little brackets are still here they just broke off so this is supposed to be down there ah. just got back from harbor freight tools 12 ton should do the trick 39 bucks let's get it going done edge cut let's jack this up Next thing we're gonna do is loosen the track as far as it goes. I've already loosened it quite a bit, but we're gonna go cinch it all the way up, get as much tension as we can, or release as much tension as we can. can see in here that when all this happened it broke this other bogey wheel so I need to pull that out too next I gotta pull this pin out pop the whole hub off oh man that's a uh... That's in there. Need a third hand, this would be so easy. I saw this on YouTube one time, so I'm basically an expert. What's the worst could happen? Here you can now get a really good look how this is broke. See these tabs? These tabs are supposed to be 
down here. Let's get it into a better position. So I'm removing the rear axle now. Holy shit, everything's heavy. Really freaking heavy. Now, I'm gonna get this thing out of the way. So my plan for this is, I'm gonna actually remove everything all at once. It's just two pivot points. And once it's on the ground, since it's already broken apart, I figure I'll bolt the new frame up to it and then connect all the bogey wheels and axles. I got the right shirt on for the job. We got the stars, stripes, and skid steers. Should be my new YouTube channel name, what do you think? Uh, let's tear into this. I don't know exactly what you call these. I call them torsion bars, but I might be wrong. You can tell me what they really are in the comment section. But basically, there's uh, just a couple bolts in here. And so we remove this one, and it should slide off. And then same with this one over here. We just remove these couple bolts. It will slide off and then this cradle that holds the motor it's already broken in the back so all we have to do is pull out this allen head knock the pin through and we can lift this whole thing out of the way that's the plan anyways Let's see how it goes I'm already winded after one bolt. <laughs> That's uh, a little crooked. That's why it's so hard to get out of there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up this cradle out of the way. So this is prime time to get back behind here and really clean everything up. It's very hard to get to otherwise. And it looks like actually now that I get back here, I've got an open, yeah, see, good time to be fixing some of this stuff. So let's clean that up. Eighteen millimeter socket. Now I'm pretty sure this just floats on grease. So I think with just those two uh, bolts, I'm pretty sure this will slide. Now, don't actually know. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just guessing. Think, uh, think this baby just slides off now? Yeah, it's uh, it's coming right off. Better look at that piece. Let's get this out of the way. 
bring the new piece over. Now what I can't figure out is why this is a different part number from the other side. Because this definitely looks to me like you could switch this either direction. See all you would do is just turn it to the other side. Why would, why would that be any different? All of these all of these are exactly the same, so explain to me, people, why, why is this a different part number than the other side? And also, I see another part. This is broken completely out of mine, so that's probably a big reason why that failed, or mine just straight up did not have that. I don't know. Look at look at where this sat before. This doesn't that doesn't look like see that's that has paint on it still. So this one previously, yeah, see there's paint here. I guess that might be some mist metal. I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't look like the old one had this bracing. And I also wonder why there's not why it's not boxed in further. I think it could box in, but look at the look at the thickness difference between these. I think this is just years of wear and tear that see how thin that is from just abrasion over and over and over again. Dude, we are freaking on. Look at this. Hell yeah. That wasn't that hard at all. Pumped about this. Let's go. Let's keep it going. A project like this, you're always replacing a bunch of nuts and bolts. So I wanted to show you this tool that I have. It's not a sponsor. I just wanted to share it with you. It quickly gives you the size and thread type of all your nuts and bolts. They have it in standard and metric. Again, not a sponsor. I just was using it a lot, so I thought I would show the audience and put the link down below if you're interested. This can go either direction, so I'm gonna save some time. I'm gonna leave that whole hub assembly connected and I'm gonna hit it out uh, 
from this side. Here are the pieces that broke off. Basically, click together like this. You'll notice this doesn't have the bottom piece here. It also should have a little bit more welded in here. There's definitely room for more. I didn't show us taking off. They're not really center axles, but all it is, is just two bolts and then you slide that hole. It's uh, four wheels at once. I'll show you on the other side. So you just take these two, that just removes the plate and then you just loosen these up and it just allows it to slide right off of there. So very simple, doesn't really take any anything advanced. Just remove the plate with two bolts and then loosen these up, slides right off, slide it on the new one. Pretty easy stuff, put it back together. It's like a little rubber mount goes on there. Two of these. So I got new rings as well as some new caps. a minor difference between the old ones and new ones. And voila, we have a completed put back together machine. And this is about six months later. And I'm happy to say I have about 200 more hours on this track. We managed to save over $6,000 in doing this ourselves. A uh, little bit of help from my dad, but for the most part, I did everything by myself. And if I did this again, I could do it drastically faster. It's kind of crazy that I got quoted for 10 hours of labor and it didn't take me anywhere near that, not knowing what I was doing. I think I could do this in half the time if I did it again, but uh, ha happy to say it was a huge savings. It wasn't overly difficult with the parts being so large, it was very obvious what needed to happen. Uh, I don't have a ton of experience working on heavy machinery, uh, so it was a good learning experience and mostly just happy to save money. Appreciate everyone watching. Thank you.